The Nokia 8. In today's video, let's unbox it and take a quick look. Hey guys, this is Ash here from c 4 a Tech and before we start, we work really hard to bring you the best quality content that we possibly can. So if you do actually end up liking this video, do drop it a like, hit that subscribe button and bell icons. If you hate it, let me know what I could do to improve, what I could do to turn that frown upside down. Now that corny line said, let's get to the Nokia 8. So this unit that you're seeing is one we've imported from Taiwan and here HMD Global does provide a case. We did get the Indian unit too midway through this video. Sadly, no case with the Indian variant. Anyway, let's open up the box. So first we've got the Nokia 8 itself. Let's take it out of the protective plastic. Feels nice. All metal build. We've got Zeiss optics to the back. More on that in a bit. We then have some ejector tool, some reading material. In your earphones, a USB type C cable and the charger. So let's now take a close look at the Nokia 8 itself. To the front on top we've got a 13 megapixel camera, sensors, a earpiece that doubles as a speaker, Nokia branding and that's followed by a 5.3 inch Quad HD IPS LCD display meaning a pixel density of around 555 pixels per inch. Now that's very sharp. This display seems bright and the viewing angles seem excellent too. Below that we've got backlit capacitive back and recent app keys at the bottom. The home key is not backlit but this capacitive key doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Just like with other Nokia phones we've used, this one feels very snappy too. My initial impressions at least. To the back we've got a secondary noise cancelling microphone, dual 13 megapixel cameras, Zeiss branding, a laser assist for autofocus, that's followed by a dual tone dual LED flash and lower below the Nokia branding. The 3.5mm headphone jacks present up top, the power and volume keys to the right, the USB type C port, primary microphone and a speaker is at the bottom and to the left we've got a tray. Now this is a hybrid solution meaning you can add either two SIMs or a SIM and a micro SD card. Now this phone is built out of series 6000 aluminium. The front is covered by 2.5D Gorilla Glass 5 from Corning. The sides curve making the whole build kinda ergonomic. At 160 grams this phone also feels deceptively light. Which is kinda expected since I'm coming from an iPhone 8 plus with its 200 plus gram weight. But jokes apart it is quite good in hand. That said, while I do like the ergonomics and in-hand feel, I can't help feeling that the Nokia 8 doesn't look quite as premium as some of its competition. Maybe the ones with more glossy bags fare better. Now the biggest change from HMD Global's other Nokias that we've seen in the past here is that the solid build here is backed up by solid internals. The Nokia 8 is powered by the flagship Snapdragon 835 chip, the same one that powers the likes of the OnePlus 5, Mi Mix 2 and more importantly, the LG V30 and the new Pixels. HMD Global's even included a full-length copper cooling pipe with a graphite shield to help with heat dissipation to keep things cool even when the action gets intense. It is also worth mentioning that there are two RAM storage options available, 464 and 6128, and all this is backed up by a 3090 mAh battery. Now on the software side of things, the Nokia 8 runs on an almost stock build of Android 7 Nougat. HMD Global's promising fast security patches and updates and have been delivering on these promises so far. Given that this is stock Nougat features like the split screen mode that lets you run two apps side by side and quick switch that lets you jump quickly back and forth between the last app you used and the current one you are using, all these are present and accounted for. The biggest change here is perhaps the camera app. Here are the highlights. You can shoot color monochroma with both cameras to get better low light images. There's support for a dual site mode and once you sign in with your Facebook and YouTube accounts, you can live stream using both cameras at once. Surprisingly, there is support for 4K videos via the front camera too. Sadly, no 1080p 60fps though. All the images that you're seeing right now, well they were all shot with the Nokia 8's cameras. The dual monochrome RGB sensors and the front camera all sport Zeiss optics. The rear camera has support for both laser and phase deduction autofocus. The aperture is f2.0 and there is support for optical image stabilization. So how do you think this camera fared? What do you think about the dual side bothies? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, we don't usually do audio tests and unboxings, but the Nokia 8 comes with Ozo Audio, which is supposed to offer a 360-degree spatial audio experience for video recordings. 
So this is downscale 4K that's being shot via the front-facing camera of the Nokia 8 and the audio is native too. So how do you think it sounds? Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So with the Nokia 8 priced at £499 in the UK, which translates to around 43,000 rupees, we expected it to be priced at around 45,000 rupees, given that HMD Global's Nokia hasn't been too intent on competing with the likes of Xiaomi and OnePlus. But in an extremely surprising and welcome move, the Nokia 8's launched in India for 37,000 rupees, pitting it right against the OnePlus 5 and the Mi Mix 2. Given that Samsung, Apple, Google and even LG have all left the 40 and 50k segment and are currently charging in the 60s and even 70s of thousands for their flagships, the Nokia 8 might just be the stellar flagship that people who want great value but don't want to compromise on brand value can consider. Hell, if the cameras turn out to be great, it might even eat into the OnePlus Xiaomi market share. Overall. I think this is a great time for us end consumers. We've got a lot of options. So I guess that's it for this quick unboxing. If you have any video requests on the Nokia 8, head on over to the comments below. If you do want to pick a Nokia 8 up, I'll leave direct links in the description below. If you hated this video, vote it down. But if you did like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, including that full review of the Nokia 8, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. If you've already subscribed, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4 Retech. And if you know anyone who might be interested in the Nokia 8, please do share this video with them. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.